I got my start in music, uh, it was like back early 2000s. My cousin, he owned a barbershop called Naps, and in the back he had a studio. And uh, basically, I seen this one cat from Chicago come down and he was producing some, some tracks for him, like making beats and stuff like that. And, uh, he let me go back here with him, I was watching him. And dude let me touch a couple keys and help him, and it was uh, it was over since then, for real. I, I seen what I could do, and uh, really got my income tax, what, the next year? Bought me some studio equipment, and it's been on the floor since then. I always been inspired by music. Uh, really, if it wasn't for music, I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't know how I get through some days, like whether you up, whether you down, no matter where you at. Music, uh, music influences a lot on a person's life, and uh, I know my life. So, making music and being behind the scenes and touching and put everything that I feel into my music and having somebody else feel that when they hear it, that's that's deep to me. So I mean, music is one thing to where they ain't never going nowhere, no matter what you do. I gotta say my favorite style, Dirty South, Dirty South, not really too much traffic, really street, like street driven, something some with a lot of 808 bass, a sub bass with a nice bass line, a lot of brass, a couple tool bells, something like that. Like, it's my favorite, for real. I love it because uh, you start from nothing. And I started making beats, and now I'm getting into engineering, too, as well. So, I mean, writing. So, I mean, I'm trying to be an all-around producer to where I can make the beat, write to the beat, get somebody to do the hook get a placement that way as far as just trying to put a beat in somebody's face like here rap to this beat I can do a whole song myself have a whole song arrangement have somebody do it for me and get a good placement like that I mean I'm, I mean everybody's self driven but I mean at the end of the day you still gotta cite them people who you get your style everybody got a little bit of somebody on from people like DJ Toon, uh the drummer boy boy wonder I mean, it's even a producer now, DJ Payne one. He's nice, he can sample, he can do everything. Uh, I say them are some of my mentors right there. I gotta make a beat every day. Every day I gotta make a beat. I mean, uh, if I don't make a beat every day, I gotta do something to music, whether I'm mixing down a song or doing something. But I mean, I try to make at least one to two beats a day. That's mandatory, I mean. Just, just so I don't get rusty, because I remember I went one time about two months without making a beat. I was going through some heavy stuff in my life. I came back rusty. I mean, my, my beat sounded like garbage, but about two hours later, it, it, it didn't progress. A dream collab with one person? Mm. DJ Toon. I got to say DJ Toon. Why? He amazing, man. He's been in the game probably over 30 years. He done produced some of the best music from my way back in the early 90s to up to now. I mean, he relevant. He's not flat. You don't see him everywhere. But, I mean, he amazing. He never sounds the same. You'll never know when he produces beat. Like, he has no tag. Like, most producers try to mark themselves with a tag. So, I mean, you would never know it's his beat until you look at the credits.